Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Okay. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So I'm sure by now everyone has heard about the alleged incident that happened between James Wright Chanel and Krishan Rock at Tamar Braxton's concert in LA this past weekend. And we've heard from everyone but Tamar and James. They finally came out now and spoke about everything. Take a listen to this. Hey everybody, I look crazy. Let me take this off. <laughs> Not that my headband looks any better, but um, I wasn't going to say anything out of respect for James and his trauma and what happened um, to him. And when I say what happened to him, he got assaulted um, at my show. Um, and, and it was by Krishan, but... Um, there was a lot of events that I believe were misconstrued. And so while I'm not going to set out the time and clear every little thing up for everyone, I, I want you to know um, the reason why I decided to say something. Um, number one, I care about my team. They're all of my friends and we put this all together for the fans um i'm not a clout chaser i don't i don't need that like my circle is this small you know i um don't have to sell tickets for you know like oh i need to sell tickets let me do this that other this show has been sold out for a month um i didn't have an opening act i knew i didn't need an opening act because i knew my sister was coming in the middle of the show um and, you know, when you're in different cities, you invite different people. Um, and Krishan was definitely someone that I invited, someone that I, I actually, you know, looked at from afar as like a, a younger sister. She's from Baltimore. Um, I knew that she was rowdy. You know, I, I didn't judge her because of that. You know, I felt for her on, on so many occasions. And I just felt like, oh, this was somebody I wanted to meet to, you know, possibly take under my wing because, you know, everybody knows that I don't have the best. I don't have the best pass. I'm sorry, I have a filter. I washed my face. I look crazy. Okay. Um, you know, and in my journey of being a better person, I wanted people to, you know, accept me for the new person that I was. And the only way that they could do that is if I was given an opportunity. And so that's really all it was. Um, I didn't call her and be like, oh, come on and perform at my show. Um, I already knew Tony was planning to perform here at this LA show. Um, she had sent me her number a while ago on a DM and I reached out to her. Um, and like I said before, like we all have, you know, Christiana is like a little sister to all of us watching her and then watch her make mistakes. We want to help, we want to help. And this is what this Love and War tour has been about. You know, I have called several girls that I didn't, I didn't know Drew Sedora. I didn't know Tiffany Evans. Um, I, I, didn't, I don't know, um, I don't I didn't know any of them really the only person that I knew was Nivea you know um but I wanted this tour to be about you know second chances and you know giving new opportunities and um I don't know um I didn't call Krishan to open up for me um uh, but when she was in my dressing room we do a twerk off portion right and I was like oh it'd be cool if you if the DJ played as a vibe and you came out and did a vibe like the people you know Baltimore sisters and that's really what I was thinking um everyone else get compensated for coming on my show and opening up for me I try to always do this do the right thing um by people um and there's a contract um we're professional I'm a real touring company um and that wasn't the case um, I think that there was a misunderstanding. During the part of the twerk off, um, I am backstage changing clothes. Um, and everybody that's come to a Tay Marsha show know that we don't have any violence. No one has ever fought at my concerts. We laugh, we cry. People have passed out, you know, due to, you know, being, you know, inebriated or, you know, just excited at being at a concert. But this is a, a, a safe, loving, healing place. 
and um, I don't know, I have to apologize to my team if my silence have made you all feel like I have not been supportive to you. Um, and I also want to acknowledge Krishan. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for coming. You know, I, I, I didn't want any of this to happen. I actually thought that we, you know, could really be, you know, good friends and have, you know, I could be a big sister, you know, to you. And that was my only objective of you coming. Um, I had no other plans. I didn't want to set you up. I didn't tell nobody not to play your music. I didn't, I just want everybody to come and have a good time. And that is really the spirit of it all. Um, but I have to acknowledge my team because my team has been traumatized. And especially James. He was assaulted and he was hurt. And I just feel like I can't make nobody happy. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I really wish you would have hit me instead of him. You know, I'm just so sorry it happened to you. Um, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, Krishan, if you felt that you know, anybody, any of us wanted to use you for hype, for hype. No, no one. I'm not even going to address that because it's ridiculous. I know that when people <coughs> come into this industry and, you know, they get a certain amount of stardom or fame, they feel like, oh, what does this person want with me? What does this person want with me? And there are some genuine people. Um, but um, I. I'm doing this video for, for my staff and for my team who believed in me, and who has helped supported me, Troy especially, you know, who has been the most passionate about this. And he should have, you know, um, he's my partner and, you know, watching, you know, someone so close to us, you know, get so violated is traumatizing. And, um, I, I really honestly, truly wish none of this happened. Um, we are still doing part two. Um, like I said before, we don't fight at our concerts. We don't, we don't even, everybody who has gone has had a lovely, fun family setting and time. And um, I don't know, I it, it's just unfortunate. And let me just tell you how amazing James is. Like. No matter how he's feeling, he told me today, he was like, you know, when she hit me, I just feel like I just wanted to hug her. She'd be like. I'm just really sorry that it all happened. And, um, I don't know. I just felt like on behalf of my team, being the leader, sometimes you don't know you know what role to take and I just want everybody to know I just want everybody to know that I'm sorry and um I don't know um, but I won't be speaking about this anymore it's this has really hit us hard you know and um it really hit us all hard no one deserved it, you know, and no one wanted to hurt anybody and no one wanted to disrespect anybody and nobody wanted to set anybody up. We just wanted to have a good time. Um, so um, I love you guys and I'll see you in a few weeks. I'm sorry, James. You're an amazing person. This should have never happened. Um, And I'm also sorry, Krishan, that you feel like in, in your life that everybody is out to get you. That must be a horrible feeling. That's a horrible feeling. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. I love you. I just want y'all to stop thinking that everybody's mine. Um... Yes, this happened to me, and everybody keeps asking, what's the reason? This happened to me for no reason. 
I was attacked for no reason. And they keep telling me don't get on live, but no, like all the assumptions and how people feel and what people think they know. I am at the dentist right now. I have to get my teeth fixed. My teeth have to be fixed and that's what's happening right now. So don't get online saying what didn't happen, it didn't happen. And no, I'm not going to show my face. My face is beat. If you guys see my face, you can be pissed off. My face is, it's toe up. So right now, I have to get teeth fixed that someone damaged. I'm not going to show my face, but I will show that I'm at the dentist right now, right now, getting my teeth fixed. The anger of the anger or whatever the issue was wasn't towards me. So that's why I'm saying I was attacked for no reason. Yes, I know I don't owe anyone anything, but enough with the blaming everybody else but the person that did this. I'm out of the hospital. Now I'm at the dentist, um, Nikki. I have to get teeth fixed. My teeth are jacked up. They're saying, oh, nothing happened, nothing happened. Oh, he's a clout chaser. I don't think nobody's clout, and I don't want clout from a negative, a negative source. I don't do negative, and negative is not on my page. I don't know why me, but I'm going to tell y'all this before I get off of here. Because I'm getting emotional. But I asked God, I said, why did this happen to me? And God said... It wasn't about you, he said, but I had to use you. He said, I had to, Jesus, he said, I had to use you. And when he said, I had to use you, all I could do was think of the story of Job. And I began to praise God in the midst of what was going on. Now, this is no disrespect because I love the Braxtons and I respect them. The baby, she said she wish she would have hit her instead of him. Girl, no, you don't. She done knocked the rest of that nose clean the fuck off. I want to hear from you. What do you think about everything Tamar Braxton and James had to say about this situation? Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.